hello world today i'm going to show you how to set up the tower garden this is my third time setting it up second time we're doing it inside of my home so i'm about to get to it so i got everything i need my lights my bins my containers um the basin so i'm gonna go ahead and get started i'm gonna go ahead and get started this bad boy look heavy Cannot. So I went ahead, turned it upside down. I'm gonna attach my pump. Just a standard pump. Before it gets too heavy and I can't lift it and do what I need to do. I have to find. Secured and everything. Now I'm gonna stack it up. Good idea, go get this. Cause if I started with A, then my next go is B. I knew something won't right. Alternate. 
Then since I've already used this before, I had to be very mindful of where I placed my strip. With my lights. But that one actually gotta come up. And you'll see what I mean when I say. So this right here is what I have to be very mindful of because this is what holds my light socket together. Got that all the way together. So now we're just going to take it and screw it in. Do not secure it. The last piece in. Here's the tower in place. My hand tie. So, see it? It's all the way together. Then I'm gonna show you up here. So this is where the water comes out at and even it distributes easily to water flowers. Now for the fun part. Oh, 
this big old baby. So this is the indoor lighting system. Let me just go to place up here. So now I'm about to put my cups in. It's these right here. Not too fancy. Pop them in. I said this is not a brand new shiny towel garden. It has been used several times. But it still works like it should. And if you need any extra parts or pieces or anything, they're always available at the store. So in case you need like break or something, they're always available for purchase. I think you even have some on Amazon. I'm not sure if it's the, the size of these ones. I'll have you like It's gonna put each slot in. Then like I said, this is the Tower Garden Flex. So that means it can go indoors and outdoors. They do have the home version, which is a little bit smaller. But with the whole version, the base isn't as big, so you can't grow certain viney type of fruits and vegetables, like tomatoes, cucumbers, zucchini. So you have to be very mindful. That's why I purchased this one, because in the summertime, I do take it outside, and I do go ahead and grow tomatoes, cucumbers, zucchini, because last summer, well, this past summer, I did the zucchini and tomatoes. I'm not sure if you synced it, but I did, so I'm missing a few caps, I see. I'm about to go get some more. I'll be right back. I was able to find about three more, but that's okay. I'm not going to use every slot anyway. So now I know for the next time that I have to purchase some more. This is basically kind of how it looks now without the lights and without the um, actual no plants. Okay, now here is the tricky part. Now putting them in the right spots, labeling them because when they're this small, sometimes it's hard to determine what is what. And I like to do it in a particular order because um, some stuff just kind of grows wild and some stuff is kind of little so I like to kind of arrange it in a certain matter so I'm actually gonna kind of label them because I kind of know how these are gonna grow and then I'm gonna bring them and put them back so like my lavender I know I kind of want that towards the middle and the reason why I want the lavender towards the middle is because lavender is a, a repellent for insects and different things. So I'm just going to label. And I know my collars grow kind of big, so I want them kind of be by themselves. And they grow good in like shady areas. So I'm going to put those towards the back. And I got my kale, which can grow kind of crazy, so I know I have two of those, 
They're different types. So I put it in the middle because I know these two socks is going to be um, kale. I've never grown spinach. But I know it probably grows similar to collards. So I'm going to put that in the back. I like stuff like my cilantro. I should have got a tie like this bad boy off. It's kind of dusty. Put it towards the top. Peppermint can grow kind of crazy. Chamomile. It's going to be at the top. I'm trying to make sure I keep my lettuces kind of back. What I put that So if I put my peppermint there, I'm gonna put my mint here. They definitely do grow kind of wild. Okay, so I brought and got my plants. This is how they look. These are um, seedlings. I get them from a company out of Arizona. I prefer this company because of the nature of how they grow the seedlings. The fact that they're all organic. They're made in like these cocoa pots. Okay, so we got that going. So then I got my lip cheek sheet. They're telling me exactly what goes where, so I can know. So we got some peppermint. Take them out gently, and just find out where I want to go. And just place them in there like this, like so. I know these are lettuces, but they're different types of lettuce.
Rubella. Just watch to see this growth in about a week's time. This stuff comes basically double size. Fill it up with some regular water. And while it's filling up, I'm gonna um, snap on the lights as well.
get the water in. We got the light set up. We're gonna go ahead and turn that thing up. Okay, so I have it running. And as you can see, you can hear it. Turn right here, cause it's empty one. So this is how it kind of flows. You know, with the water and the um, plants and everything. Now, there is a tower garden um, solution that you put in to uh, basically mimic soil. So I'm gonna put that in, follow the instructions on that. But other than that, that's it. Oh, I didn't turn my lights on yet, so I'm just gonna turn them on real quick. And then bad boys get bright. But there you have it. Here go my tower garden, ready to grow. And yeah, I could have put the lights on downwards, but I just wanted to do it that way, so it don't matter how you put the lights on. And voila.